Hello everybody, my name is Anthem. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. I still have an empire. Let's continue on for last month off. So we're now at war with the Egyptians. Uh, and I think that's fine. Are you in the Cairo Pact? You're not. I feel like you will probably be soon. But you're not quite yet. You go here, you go here. Iran breaks the 1913 shop out of protocols. Iran's now declared war on us. Look, Iran. I will call you. No, you. Wait, no, I won't call you into the war because I think the AI will get too distracted by this. It could work out in our favor. Send one unit here because it's free. Send one unit there because it's free. Free province, free province. And aside from that, we'll try taking over these other provinces. Your mountaineering division, so it makes sense for you to attack up here. You three attack into uh, the desert province. So attack like this. We've reintegrated the MOJ. Who else is attacking us? That seems like another declaration of war. Armenia is declared war on us. Armenia, really? You've got two divisions. Nez should join the Cairo Pact. Not a big surprise. I think you guys, you just attack. You can, yeah, just be like a regular battle plan. The war in the desert has begun. But will you actually join the war? You also don't have, fo you don't actually don't have an attack plan either. You're going to attack like this. I think we just move in right away. And overall, I would say our initial invasion is going okay. I think someone else just declared war. Is it Yemen? Syria joined the Cairo Pact. Uprising Damascus, not a major surprise. Third Martial Law in Aleppo, Homs, Beirut, Haifa. Any state. Center limit goes up. Certain decisions are available. So only Damascus actually r rose against us. Please don't actually stop. I think I see just taking the city of Damascus. Okay, so I'm gonna just take the city of Damascus would be enough to capitulate them, but apparently that's not the uh, case. We're 49 out of 45. What decisions do we have available now? Fortify Baghdad, emergency mobilization. War support goes up by 1% for 60 days. We need political power for that though, uh, which I don't have. As you can see, there might be a, uh, a problem there. Okay, so we'll still try to fight our troops here. Yeah, so do something like that. Let's at least cut Syria off from the rest of um, Cairo Pact. Our Air Force right now, you're protecting Mesopotamia, which I don't think makes any sense. Stay over in Damascus for now. The great Syrian revolt. Look, it's not a big deal. And I don't think... I mean, the only place I would actually rebel against a thing in Iraq would be Basra at this point. And I'm not... Yeah, because you're all low. I think, I think only Basra would rebel. And if only Boss was rebelling, I'm, act I'm actually, like, not that concerned about it. Let's actually go for mill military factories. The extra tanks would be nice. Here we go like this. But, yeah, there's also the war in Armenia. But once you guys have, like, left... Like, just go to here, and I think you're gonna capitulate, like, right away, which I think is hilarious. Yeah, five troops in uh, this province here. Probably want to try to get like a full surround on them. I mean, I, here's the thing. I mean, Yemen so far, okay, they're not, they're not in our faction anymore. They're not, they're not our puppet state as much as I would have liked them to be. Yeah, so Green Army is going to be taking a little bit of a beating. That's not a surprise to anybody, I believe. But I think you guys hold off for now. Move your way towards Alexandria. I mean, we're, we're making gains in Egypt, which is really what we want. Armenia's already capitulated. Again, I'm not surprised by that. Because it's Armenia, and they, they don't really mean too much. No offense if you're, Arme or if you're Armenian. Let's raid on Beirut. Flying undercover darkness. 20 Baffins. 
bomb the Ottoman fleet in Beirut. Out of commission for six months. Oh, so that's probably what the event does. But that's honestly, like, not that big of a deal. Yeah, of course, we're not going to let Yemen run away. If you want to attack your way up here, like, head jazz, I've left that completely open on purpose. So that you'd be distracted by, uh, those kind of maneuvers. You're all on this front. Keep on pushing your way down. Thank you. We do need more units here. We're also now at 53, so I can actually deploy... Let's deploy all of you into green, uh, into, uh, green Army right away. You have high unrest, but I don't think that's my fault. So you train units. The units are garbage. So you know what? We're, we're never going to press that button again. They're actually really bad. They're irregulars. What's an automated irregular? Uh, 10 to combat with. Okay, so they're garbage. But they're extra units, so I guess that's something. Okay, let's see if we can surround this city. We can surround this other division. You move your way up like this, and see if we can actually surround these, uh, uh, these Iranian divisions as well. Do we get any other modifiers from this? No, it's just surrender limit. Do you get a bonus because... Then volunteers... Okay. Okay, you can't! Come on now, you can't do that! But now I choose, I think I have no supplies, right? No, they don't. Do you have any troops? Okay, I'm calling bullshit on this, just uh, as an FYI. Our finest hour. I guess you guys deploy on this side, and then we quickly try to build up a port in this province as fast as humanly possible. How long will this take? March 13th? That's way too long. We don't have that long. We just gotta take Durna. I guess that's our objective now. What kind, of, what kind of garbage is this? Like, that's... That's a bit too much. Come on now. You move your way down to here. We actually might be able to take over every single one of your major cities, like, pretty quickly. And if we can get rid of Nezh, then we'll be looking pretty good. Yeah, so you guys fight there. Gonna take Tabriz down pretty soon. We've already got like a, I'd say a decent amount of encirclement already. I mean, you are. Zero out of five. Of course you are. I'm, like, that's... Anybody else agree that that's kind of... Like, I conquered you once. I should have put the guy to death, I think. Maybe that would have helped us out. I'm not too sure. We got 10 division on tier. Like, this should get cleaned up in a matter of time. When I mean, you're worth two, you're worth five. Are you a core? You are a core there. Do so you know what? Cavalry division, you move your way down to uh, Hufar. And really... That should kind of more or less get the job done, I believe. And in a moment, all of you, I'm hoping, will now be considered surrounded. Yes, you are. And we'll run out of supplies in due time. You need to retreat, though. You can't You can't stay there much longer, uh, unfortunately. No, do not attack anymore. You need a whole position until we get this port. Either this port built in two months, or we capture the other province. But either way, I, I still don't agree with this assessment. But at 4% modifiers. You're about to die in a moment. I think Yemen will die. Not Yemen. I think Nezh will die soon. When Nezh is dead, like, the war becomes significantly easier. Because that's a major front line that we've kind of dealt with already. You have 727 divisions. Okay, 
Okay, you deploy somewhere more reasonable. You keep going down towards the south. Again, when Damascus falls, that should be the end of this army. Problem is going to take you forever to get anywhere because of the, um... There we go, Nezh capitulated. Giving us like 20,000 right? We have 100,000 guns? Excuse me? When the hell did that happen? Um... Well... By the way, are we still on military martial law? Still in Iraq. All of you go down towards Yemen. Yemen right now is 3 to 15 divisions. Really? That wasn't enough to kill Syria? That's 0% out of 0%. It doesn't get much lower than that, I would say. Uh, front line here. I will admit that my unit did just get surrounded, which I would say is not great. See some troops coming up here. How close is Iran to capitulating? I mean, Tehran is worth 15. If we can get, like, a cavalry behind enemy lines, we could do okay. Formation of the Irit Israel Defense Front. We gain some militia. Oh, uh, we don't need... I don't think we need their assistance. We get two divisions, but, like, we're, we've already killed Nejd. Which I'd say has already worked out pretty well. Muscat, we can call them in, but it's distracting some Yemeni troops. And you should be dead soon as well. Problem with you. Syria is now capitulated. Be multiple combats. You are now taking casualties, all because of this nonsense. It, that's nonsense. It's nonsense. Yeah, draw your lines out like this. You guys try to fight these two divisions. We got blue army units moving down south. I mean, you do have one city worth three victory points in this little pocket. You have 19 divisions. I, I wouldn't mind deploying more here. But for only 53 out of 30, like, that's nowhere close to enough. We actually, we don't need more rifles. We have 100,000 guns. We don't need more. I guess we get more planes then? Apparently you're sick. You're 3-3. Three, three. Put you in because you're not sick. I think we have to like force attack our way through, as weird as that is. As long as we take Durna, then our supply route is at least fixed. Might want to send more troops down here, but. I send planes down here? I actually don't know. I don't know, and I'm going to lean more towards the no on that one. Okay, so let's get two offensive lines ready to go. Blue Army is doing what they need to be doing. And you guys all attack here. So did we get an extra military factory from that? We did. Uh, we have 100,000 guns. We don't need a 10% discount on infantry equipment. I'm going to tell you that right now. Like, it's so dumb that... Well, right now it's February. Be there in 12 hours. Now you don't have enough... Fuck you, game. Like, legitimately, fuck you. 
Is there a way I can get more organization on these troops? I don't believe so. Okay, so you know what? Like... I'm gonna do this. I, I, is it cheating? Kind of, but like... I already killed you once. That that That's my argument here. Is that I don't need to prove that I can kill you a second time. Like, what's the point of taking the massive penalties for, um... Attacking them the first time if you just have to kill them twice? Right? I just think that's weird. And it doesn't make any sense at all. Please kill this guy. You come up here to reinforce. You might end up being killed. Just as a word of uh, warning to you. Okay, but I think the Iranian front is more or less stable. If the Iranian front's stable, that means we can kind of move troops elsewhere. Uh, namely, invading our way down south. Okay, these two Egyptian troops will be dead soon. You're on this front. Thank you. Now let's slowly push our way in like this. Yeah, fine falling these guys back for now. The island of Arakela was also already claimed the Ottoman Empire to the frontier. And at the noob. Do I have an island up here? Romania, you don't you barely don't exist. You're not allowed to claim anything. That's my that's my thought on this. We got nine troops down here. Please make sure this camel doesn't take back the um the port. You can come up here for now. Let's try to think about this front, right? I'm, I lo I'm looking at this front. Go back to Jeddah. How many troops does Yemen have? 4 to 14. You know what? I might as well call you into the war. Just because why not? I don't know if you'll be able to push here at all, but... It'll strike the AI, I think, a little bit longer at least. How are you? It's because of this city, I think. If we if they didn't have this city, we would be like doing a lot better in Iran. Please go here. Thank you. Take that city. They won't have their three basic uh, supply points. And honestly, you guys just push your way into the uh, Sinai Peninsula, please. And thank you. You should be dead soon. You come keep on making your attacks. Oman, like, or Muscat, whatever you want to be called. If you can survive this, then you are uh, amazing. Yeah, I guess you go just stay and defend the port. I mean, Egypt has a lot of units stuck over here. Because if they, if they don't defend that area, we just push even harder here. Which, of course, they can't really do. Oh yeah, you should be a bigger. How many how many bombers do I actually have in reserve? I don't know, but let's crank you up to 200. Crank you up to 200. I mean, I see a decent amount. We have some interwar bombers. You're now at 74 and 200. It gives us a little bit more of a attack bonus here. You're gonna push in like this. Honestly, I think we just kind of abandon this area in the south. Let these guys link up. I, I, it's not it's not a major deal. It's just it, it's I guess I guess there's like resistance was really high in these areas still. But c come on now, right? Like c come on, come come on. Try to push these two fronts. Because, I mean, you are... Yeah, just Egypt's the only major uh, faction here. Yeah, we can't push away into uh, Jeddah. That's okay. 
How are you still alive? That's, more than anything, that's kind of like my question. Because you're doing a fantastic job. Let me just tell you that right now. Wait, how did... Okay, we've actually been doing way better here than I had originally anticipated. Fantastic. Keep on pushing our way inland further and further into a run. Get as much damage as we possibly can get done. Done. And this should now just be like one big line. No reason to have it be two separate fronts. Yeah, that, that, this should be fine. I mean, you hold a small little chunk of territory. Bucharest has fallen. Is that not the second time it's fallen? I could have sworn they've already capitulated. I feel like they've capitulated once because Bucharest fell, but... That's okay. How much manpower do you guys actually have? I don't think I checked. Uh, about 200,000, which is more than what we have, I can tell you that. Like, how many troops do I have right now? I have 58 divisions. Which I would say is a pretty decent number. Is there anyone else that can kind of get some stuff done for free? I mean, you're, you know what? We're going to last stand to you. Just make sure you can keep those uh, troops busy for as long as possible. Because you're going to die no matter what anyways. So you kind of might as well. You know, you guys stay here. And you should all be dead soon. The more dead Iranian and Egyptian troops we can see, the better. Okay, I mean, you guys are doing a decent amount of damage. We can kind of consolidate our forces, though, in a small little area. We'll be, we'll be looking all right. Now technically losing this front. I believe that's going to be an extra military factory for us. Thank you. And let's see. If, okay, we might as well move our way towards these two tanks now. Because why not? Luckily, a rock. I mean, they haven't risen up yet. I still think they can. But they haven't done it so far. So... They're trying to kind of move their troops around. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. I mean, you're still alive. You're not. You're not dead. You know, you can go down towards Yemen. I think I'm okay with that. How are uh, Muscat doing? They're doing okay. I mean, they pushed up one province, but they did leave their entire border exposed, which I would say is, like, not wonderful. Okay, this should fall soon. We're going to get, actually, five Egyptian troops surrounded. Do not attack right now. I think they have, like, one victory point in this entire area. Because I... I mean, there's a lot of Egyptian troops over here. Ah, do I want to go over there, though? I, I don't really know. All that happened, actually, was that I got myself surrounded. And that's kind of funny. I can kill you, open this back up. Which will happen in just a moment. And like I said, it's gonna happen in just a moment. There we go. Now it's opened up. But I think it's gonna be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my Zane Swim. If you've enjoyed, bring a thumbs up. Not enjoy, close thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.